Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and run this latent diffusion model by CompFizz on Windows 11 using WSL. The first step is to install Windows Terminal, which I will link to in the description. After you get Terminal installed, make sure you turn on the Always on Top feature in the Appearance tab of Settings. Just trust me, it makes life a lot easier when you are copying and pasting commands into Terminal having this feature on. Next, we need to install WSL, the Windows subsystem for Linux. Head over to the Microsoft documentation for WSL, which is linked in the description. If you scroll down, it says that we can easily install WSL by copying and pasting the command WSL dash dash install. So go ahead and copy that text and paste it into terminal. You can use either control V or right click the terminal window to paste it then just hit enter to execute that command. It's gonna pop up a screen asking if you want to allow WSL to make changes to the device. Just click yes on that. Then another screen will pop up asking if you want to allow the host processes to make changes and just click yes to that too. And then you just have to wait for it to install. After the installation finishes, it says the requested operation is successful. Changes will not be effective until the system is rebooted. So now, go ahead and reboot your PC. Now that your computer is booted back up, go ahead and open Terminal. Next, we need to install a Linux distribution in WSL. If we go back to Microsoft's WSL documentation and scroll down, they say we can type the command WSL dash dash list dash dash online to give us a list of the available distros we can install. To save you time, this does not work if you just install Ubuntu. You have to make sure to install Ubuntu dash 20.04, so make sure you specify version 20.04. Go ahead and type the command WSL dash dash install Ubuntu-20.04 into the terminal window and hit enter. Next, it's going to prompt us to create a username and password for our new Ubuntu distribution. So just go ahead and type in a username and password you will remember. Now, go ahead and exit both of the terminal windows and reopen Windows Terminal and make sure you can add the Ubuntu 22.04 terminal as a new tab. The first thing we want to do now that we have our new Ubuntu distribution installed is to update the operating system. So go ahead and type sudo apt-get update in the Ubuntu terminal window and hit enter. So head on over to NVIDIA's CUDA on WSL documentation page which I have linked in the description. If you scroll down, you will see that the first step is to install an NVIDIA driver for GPU support. This is done on the Windows side. As long as you have the latest gamer ready driver and an NVIDIA card with CUDA support, you are ready to go. NVIDIA's second step is to install WSL using the WSL dash dash install command, which we already did. NVIDIA also tells us to make sure we have the latest WS kernel by running the command WSL.ex dash dash update. Go ahead and close out of your Ubuntu terminal window and open the Windows PowerShell terminal and run that command to ensure your kernel is up to date. Now head back over to the Ubuntu terminal and copy and paste the command sudo apkey del 7fa2af80 to remove the old gpg key. Next, we are going to follow the recommended installation option, option 1. Copy and paste each of the commands into the Ubuntu terminal window and press enter. Make sure when you get to the fifth line, you cannot copy it from the documentation and paste it. The asterisk after the CUDA is actually a number. If you look in the Ubuntu terminal window, it actually spits out a command with the number already in it of what you need to run. So go ahead and copy that command and execute it. After that line, you can copy and paste the remaining two lines directly from the documentation into the terminal window. 
It will take a few minutes to install, but at this point we should have CUDA installed properly on our Linux distribution. The next step we need to take is to install Anaconda on Ubuntu within WSL. I found a really helpful page on GitHub explaining the installation process that I will link in the description. The first step obviously is to install WSL, which we have already done. Then follow the link to the Continuum repo and copy the address to the latest Linux x86-64 version. Now from the Ubuntu terminal, type wget, then paste the address to the Anaconda installation you just copied. Now type ls into the Ubuntu terminal to list all the files, then copy the name of the Anaconda installation file. Next, type the command bash, then paste the name of the Anaconda installation file you just copied and hit enter. You can just hold down on the enter key on your keyboard to skip through the installation until you get to the part where it asks you yes or no. Type in yes, then in the next prompt, hit enter again to install Anaconda in the default path. After the installation finishes, it's going to ask if you wish to initialize Anaconda 3 by running Conda init. Just type yes and hit enter. Now go ahead and exit out of the terminal window, then reload the Ubuntu terminal. Then type in the command which python and verify that the path returned has Anaconda in it. Alright, now that we have Anaconda set up inside WSL along with NVIDIA CUDA, we are ready to start setting up our environment for the Latent Diffusion model. Head back to the Latent Diffusion GitHub page and click on the green button that says code. It should open a drop down menu where you can copy an HTTPS link to the repository. Go ahead and copy the HTTPS link, then type the command git clone, then paste the link you just copied, and hit enter to execute it. Now, if we type ls in the terminal to list our files and directories, we can see we have a latent diffusion directory. Let's change our root directory to the latent diffusion directory by typing the command cd latent-diffusion in the Ubuntu terminal window. Now we can see that we are in latent diffusion as the root directory. If we scroll down on the GitHub page, we see that we have to create a suitable Conda environment named LDM. Next, type the command conda env create dash f environment dot yaml and hit enter. This will take a couple minutes to process everything and install the environment. Once the installation is complete, we can execute the second command, conda activate ldm. We can now see on the left hand side that the ldm environment is activated. So now, if we scroll down further, we see, to get started, install the additional required python packages into your ldm environment. Copy and paste the first line into the terminal and hit enter to execute it, and this will install transformers, scan, cornea, and torch metrics. After these finish installing, copy and paste the second line into the Ubuntu terminal and hit enter to install the enops repository. The next step it gives us is to download the trained weights. In order to do this, just copy and paste the two commands listed on the GitHub page into your Ubuntu terminal and execute them. To be completely honest with all of you, the next portion of the page makes absolutely zero sense to me, and hopefully I can learn more over the coming months to be able to make sense of it. The next part I understand in the documentation is text to image. That sounds like English to me. It, sa it says in the documentation that in order to use text to image functionality, we have to download another pre-trained weights file. You can do this by copying and pasting the two commands below into your Ubuntu terminal and pressing enter. Now we just have to wait for the pre-trained weights file to download for text to image functionality and then we will be ready to sample the text to image script. Everything should be downloaded now and ready to go, so let's test it out and see if it works. 
Go ahead and copy the command to sample the text to image script off the GitHub documentation page and paste it into your Ubuntu terminal. Then press enter and hope for the best. It'll take a minute or two to process depending on your video card. Then it should say that our samples are ready and waiting for us. Go ahead and navigate to your Linux distribution in File Explorer. Double click your Linux distribution, then go to Home. Click your username then latent diffusion, then go to outputs, then text to image samples, and your image should be in there. As you can see, I managed to get this latent diffusion model successfully set up on my PC, and I hope you managed to get it set up successfully on your computer as well. Since we know everything is working how it should be, let's try the second sample script they have listed on the documentation page. Go ahead and copy and paste it into your Ubuntu terminal and press enter. This one takes a little bit longer to process, but if all goes well, it should output an image in the same folder as the last output. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you managed to get this latent diffusion repository set up on your machine. Hope to see you all in the next video.